Kia ora te whāna, inā mahi atu ki a koutou i tēnei ata, ka nui te nihi, ka nui te aroha ki a koutou. Ko waiau, ko maua te maunga, tairanga te moana. Nā te rangi nui te iwi, nā te rangi nai tamarawa ho te hapu, tā ki tume te waka, huri e tōku marae. Engare, ki te taho tōku whaia, ko kai a te whetu te maunga. Hoki anga te wā hapū, nā toki matapaurua te waka, nā te korokoro te iwi, tana marae tūpona ko whakamaharatanga. Ai, tēnā koutou katoa. Kia ora. Kia ora koutou. Ko mauna kaitamauna, ko Waikiri Bird to Awa. Ko ora kai pāka te hapu, ko Mara Smith taupo ono. Kia ora whānau. Kia ora. Alright, so we're here at Whaioranga Trust today. And can you both just tell me a little bit about what you guys do here? Okay. Kia ora anō korua Henry Watson. Toku e ngō e whānau au ki tauranga mwana nga mahi. So my mahi at Whaioranga, we work in traditional healing. And what is traditional healing? Or taku nei fakaro. My my thoughts are that traditional healing for rongo Māori means many different things. It doesn't only mean rongo as the medim um the the medicine. It means many things. It can mean a waiata. It can mean listening to your mokopuna kata kata laugh. It could mean um sitting beside your nanny in Kroa, listening to all their kōrero o mai rāno, listening to the things that they've done in their past, be it going to get kohi kohi pipi, or going to the moana, e kaukauana, going for a swim. It can be going to the nāhere and listening to all the manu, it can mean to collect kai from the nahere. It can mean collecting um, medicine, rongoa, mm. uh, for the whānau. So it's not only, uh, rongo Māori doesn't only mean rongoa as in medicine. Mm. It means all those other things. What makes you feel good? Mm. There was a kōrero that a kroa gave me many, many years ago. And my whakaaro was, yes, tunnel vision, rongo aini, Māori medicine. And, you know, I have to come to think of, when I reflect back of his words, he's so right. He's so right. So for us as whānau, as iwi Māori, you know, it goes far beyond that, mm. um, you know, in this mahi that we do. There's many other things, so... Mm. It's my whakaaro of, of rongo Māori. I think in the day and time that, days and time that we are in at the moment with COVID-19, um, mm. and we've gone down the levels, but one of the things that I really recognise is sometimes people are, are living in isolation. So quite often, even though at the moment we are unable to do hands-on um, mm. at the moment, there's still, uh, like Whaiaru Hini was saying, um, a lot of whakaaro. Um, and thoughts and sharing and people not being so isolated I think that's really important and I think that's something that's been highlighted to me a couple of times through this time is that sometimes our whānau can be very lonely mm. and just to have a conversation that to me is one of the ways we use rongoa Māori um, mm. there's lots of others as Fire has talked about but um the biggest one for me is just to talk to somebody yeah, um, and acknowledge their presence and who they are and why they're here, why they've come to see us. Oh. Beautiful. And so you both work as Rungwa Māori practitioners here at Whaioranga. Yeah. And so what are some of the uh, mahi that you do here? So like you mentioned, those are, were some of the, the Rungwa Māori options for, for us. Um, but um, in a day-to-day -day mahi, uh, what, what are some of the things that you guys do here? Okay, for, um, so of course you've got all that 
administration stuff that has to happen to be able to do the mahi we do. So um, in our clinic we do midi midi. What is midi midi? So I distinguish between the two. So there's midi midi, there's massage. Massage is working clinically. Massage is just working on the tinana. Midi Midi works with Te Ao Wairua near mm. the Kaupapa or Whare Tapawha, you know, a wairua, a hine naru, a whānau, um, a tinana. So those are the things for us um, that differs from, from massage, mm. working with all those other components. So we do Midi Midi, but we also run many workshops. <laughs> Many different workshops we just um yeah. complete I'll let you you do that part. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um so we've um obviously had to find a different way of um service delivery. Um so Faro Henny and I have been um videoing uh, ourselves um <laughs> delivering courses. Mm -hmm. Uh so we've done um around pahara kiki, mm -hmm. um, roles and responsibilities, um, how to gather, um, how to do it in a rumo wa Māori way in terms of tikanga, mm. um, how to gather um, your resources um, and um, dyeing. Um, we've also made um, earrings as well um, oh. as a finished product. Um, so we've gone from um, Doing um, the mahi with the harakiki right through um, from the dyeing process as well mm. to the end piece. Um, oh. So we've delivered that as a program mm. to our whānau. Um, <laughs> it was big work. Yeah, how's it, was... it been with this uh, non-contact? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've gone with Zoom, so yeah. we've been doing a lot of Zooming. Yeah. You know, yeah. We, so that, that's been good, mm. but I think now people, because we've come down in the levels also and people are more um, getting it out and about, mm. um, people don't want to Zoom, mm. which I can mm. understand. Yeah, we're they over want it. the physical yeah. contact, mm. um, obviously, so, uh, still safe distancing, but yeah. they still want the contact, Yeah, yeah mm. which is great. Yeah, and I guess, you know, being um, just in the space and, and, you know, just having this ahua around us there is a there is a difference eh? um coming coming in person so mm. so yeah and so um are you still doing the rakaurongo or two we're still doing the rakaurongo at this time we're doing another workshop that we're going out to do plant identification mm. so what that means for us in whanau that aren't um um, really knowledgeable in that. So we go out again to be um, videoed and so we identify the plants because yeah. they know what it looks like on its own but when it's in the nahere, yeah. when it's out amongst all the other rongo, there's a huge difference. They all look the same they to do. people. Yeah. So as it's our role as responsible kai rongo, that they understand and that they identify because um, you might have uh, kanuka and manuka and tea tree mm. all the leaves are different all the the way they sit on the plants is different the colors are different so mm. for us so that they understand and identify what they're looking for and it, it's just really an introduction yeah for them they're not gonna go straight to the top yeah. because it's about that mā tauranga, learning, identifying the uses, what it's used for mm. and those things. So, And also contraindicators yeah, I think yeah, is a really, big. really big um, issue as well, particularly if whānau, uh, they have medication. other medication and it may react with it, so mm. it's about safe practice. Mm. It's about making sure that people understand what they're looking at, why they're looking at it, how to take it, when not to take it as well. Yeah. Um, and that's something that you and I really emphasise. Um, yeah. prior. Um, because at the end of the day, we know our rongawa works. Mm -hmm. um, 
but we also uh, know that safety um, is paramount mm. um, and our whānau need to be safe yeah. um, if they're going to go to the Nahiri to put kurongo um, and to use it for themselves. Um, yeah, because there um, is, eh? There's tikanga behind it, you. Oh, there's karakia, oh, and there's, yeah. um, you know. There's a whole it's, process. It's, mm, um, and it is very powerful, too. So mm, it's not, you don't just go into the bush, pick some kawakawa, and make some bark. No. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Um, and so just some contact information if anyone wants to find anything else out. Oh, so why am I? Um, or, oh, so. Our number here is 0754499981 or our front desk um, reception at wtga.org.nz and that you will get our receptionist who's Talia Pearson and then anything that comes through there she will relay through to us if people are interested in coming to have a mini mini um, and really at the end of the day too it's like They've been in lockdown for a long time. Mm. Just sharing, just coming yeah, to call it all because mm. that's all it is. Because there's a lot of our kaitonoa, our clients, have different different Maui we, mm. and it's just oh. about coming to offload. Being in lockdown for so long, mm. so we had a Zoom a Zui here for our kaimatua. Yeah, for the first time it was just so emotional. Like queer coming on to it, the mukapunda are there to help them to get on, but the tears cut tani to go So, and it was good because you know they hadn't been able to go anywhere, but seeing everybody else on on, on Zoom on Zoom, it oh, just just amazing. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, it was. Um, I just started on the 23rd. Yes. Um, we went into lockdown. I arrived <laughs> from my whakatau <laughs> and got given a computer and a phone. Um, it's, it's been an interesting time in service delivery, mm. I think. Um, yes. And for all of our teams, yeah. um, you know, um, we've all done the zoo, uh, Zoe thing. Um, presented how we can yeah. um, and I know that our whanos have really appreciated it um, mm. they say it quite often it's lovely to see you mm. um, so that's really nice yeah. um, and so it makes their day a little bit easier you know Definitely. Um, if people want to come here and have a chat it's a safe a safe space mm. uh, I might to do it yeah mm. awesome uh, thank you so much both for your time today uh, and just finally one last message for our whanau Kia ora, kia ora, piki te kaha, piki te ora, piki te marama tanga i ngā wā katoa. Uh, just look after yourself, be strong, be safe, all of you that are out there, and kia kaha tonu. Mm. And whānau, just have a great day. Mm -hmm. Kia ora. Kia ora.